This has quickly become my new favorite AI image generation tool. So a couple of weeks ago, Recraft released their Red Panda model. In the beginning, it was all kind of hush hush and it was beating all the other models, including Flux 1.1 and everything else. And the model is extremely realistic if you want it to be realistic. And you can try it out for free. They give you a couple of credits to try this thing out. And it's called Recraft.ai. And when you sign in, the homepage will look a little bit like this, although for you, a little bit different because you won't have all these things that I've generated, but not only is it an incredible realistic looking images when you want them to be, but you can create logos insanely fast that really look fantastic. Let me give you a quick example. I'm going to generate a new image by clicking the generate new image, and I'm going to select another image style that they have. They've got a bunch of you to, for you to pick from, from, you know, black and white, retro pop or whatever that is, but I'm going to choose just the vector art as well. And I'll show you a couple of components here. Let's say we want to create a logo for a sports bar called Bad Duck. So the prompt is really easy and very text Focus. So create a logo for a sports bar called Bad Duck. It should be inspired by 90s hip hop because hey, why not? And I like that kind of style. We should see a mean looking duck in the logo. I've got the vector selected here. I'm going to press recraft and I'm going to give this a minute. So I think this is a image generation and illustration tool kind of built from the ground up with AI in mind, as opposed to something like Adobe and stuff like that, where they've just integrated AI with the pre-existing products. Although they're very good, they're extremely expensive. And take a look at this, like I've already got a sports bar logo, bad duck, and it is insane. I love it. Let's go with this one here and they give you a few variations, right? We can even create other images. So let's create now a realistic image for our bad duck bar. We're going to go to photorealism and we're going to say a female bartender serving a beer to a customer at a sports bar. Again, really easy prompt, a female bartender serving a pint of beer to a customer at a sports bar. We're going to recraft. I've selected the photo realistic imagery and let's see what it comes up with. Perfect, pretty good. That's clearly a sports bar. She's holding the beer. There you go. That's a little bit better where the beer is not so weird. There's a little sort of glass here, but it's looking really, really good and very, very real. You can also edit the images there. So let's say I wanted to change that to a burger instead, right? Because the manager told me or whatever, I'm going to select this little lasso tool here, go around here. Actually, you know what? Let's do that a little bit better. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, the selection, because the burger might be really big. Cool. So change this to a burger. I'm going to modify the area and understand that I'm only talking about that space that I wanted to change it there. <laughs> now I've got a humongous burger. I have to play around with it, but that still doesn't look too bad considering it's the first kind of draft of this. And now that I've got the logo, I can also vectorize this, which is a very, very interesting tool. So I'm going to vectorize it. I think it was with this one, convert it into a vector image. And I'm going to create a preview of what this would look like if I were to put it on a t-shirt. So I'm gonna select this one here, put it here and a man wearing a white t-shirt and hit recraft here. And I've got my logo that has been vectorized already. I'm gonna copy this and I'm going to wait till this gets generated. And I'm going to show you some seriously cool functionality that this application has. Now you can pay for it, but the free version allows you to do use a couple of credits for free. So I've got a man wearing a white t-shirt. I've got my logo here and I'm going to give it a minute and it's going to start kind of wrapping around the actual guy, the man itself, sorry, and the t-shirt. So let's give it a second. And now I've got the t-shirt that moves around it. We could probably make it look a little bit better. I'm going to take the image out. I'm going to get rid of the background with this tool here. So there's no white in the background. The t-shirt's already white. I don't need white on white. But let's see here. Now I'm going to drag here into this. And how good is that? It kind of moves around and understands that I'm trying to create here the logo for it. Bad duck logo. And I could even kind of put it here in the side. Let's see what it would look like on a trucker's hat. So I'm going to do the same thing again, create the select the t-shirt kind of component. And I'm going to say a white plain baseball cap, hit enter. I need to create the asset that I wanted to put my logo on top. In the meanwhile, I'm going to just copy my logo without anything in it, meaning a white background really. And I'm going to put this in the image in a second. I've got my white plain baseball cap, which is pretty good. And then I drag my logo, give it a while to understand the parameters of it. And there you go. Now I see what my hat looks like with the logo and it can turn around here if I wanted to. 
I think that's pretty good, pretty useful. Again, there's a lot more functionalities to these tool. That's just kind of the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this. But if you want to check it out, go to recraft.ai and check it out. They'll give you credits to try this out for free. But one of my favorite tools to try out at the moment, really useful tool. I hope you like this and follow for more. Cheers.